performance in commercial poultry production is often significantly impacted by intestinal parasites of the Imeria family. These cause coccidiosis, a very common disease in poultry, leading to avoidable financial losses for producers. The infection starts with the chicken ingesting sporulated Imeria oocysts. This ubiquitous parasite can be found in feed, in water, and in the litter. In fact, everywhere in the poultry house, as well as in the surrounding environment. The main part of the parasite's life cycle takes place in the intestinal tract of the infected bird over a period of four to seven days. A sporulated oocyst contains four sporocysts. Mechanical action in the gizzard of the bird releases the sporocysts. Later, in the duodenum, enzymatic action releases two sporozoites from every sporocyst. The mobile sporozoites then invade the epithelial cells of the intestinal wall. Once inside the cell, the sporozoite undergoes various changes. In the end, the epithelial cell bursts, and hundreds of newly formed merozoites reach the intestinal lumen. These now invade neighboring epithelial cells, and the whole process of asexual multiplication is repeated two to four times. The Imeria life cycle is then concluded with a sexual reproduction stage, beginning with the formation of male microgametes and female macrogametes. The final stage of the parasite's life cycle produces large numbers of new Imeria oocysts that are discharged with the feces into the external environment. In the warm, moist litter of the chicken house, the oocysts can mature and sporulate, a crucial stage in the parasitic cycle. Sporulation makes the Imeria oocysts infective. They can then be ingested by other birds of the same, or the next flock. Sporulated oocysts of the Imeria family cause coccidiosis, associated with damage to the intestinal epithelial cells. Imeria acervulina damages the tips of the villi. It occurs in high numbers in the upper intestine, where the nutrients are broken up. Imeria maxima occurs in the middle intestine, critical to nutrient absorption and causes deeper reaching damage to the villi. This can result in significant impact on weight and feed conversion. In the cica of the affected bird, Imeria tenella causes massive cell damage and hemorrhage that can result in death. Through repeated exposure to the Imeria species reproducing inside the birds, immunity to coccidiosis develops in the flock. Some species reproduce in high numbers and therefore induce immunity quickly. Others with a lower reproductive rate can take longer. Immunity to one species does not cross-protect against the others. Most birds show no obvious outward symptoms of coccidiosis after infection and have low lesion scores. Nevertheless, their average daily weight gain can suffer considerably. The exact extent of this adverse effect is determined by the timing of the infection with the Imeria oocysts. During the first three weeks of a broiler's life, the immune system, the skeletal structure, and the intestinal system develop. The growth of muscle mass happens mainly in the final weeks. So an early infection occurs during a slower growth period when the impact on weight loss is small. This may allow the bird time to recover and to easily compensate for the minor transitory reduction in weight. An infection with Imeria oocysts late in the bird's life, however, has a more dramatic impact on weight gain. Late infection during the period of highest daily weight gain leaves no time for the bird to recover. In feed medication with anticoccidials that suppress the life cycle of the Imeria parasites represents a convenient, well-established treatment method for coccidiosis. 
broilers are routinely given anti-coccidials until just before slaughter. However, normal ionophore programs allow some of the parasites to escape suppression and to reproduce. As a consequence, delayed oocyst shedding and very mild lesions still occur. The continuous use of ionophores result in reduced efficacy, leading to even more oocyst shedding and more significant lesions during the most vulnerable period of broiler performance. And even with poultry houses disinfected thoroughly at slaughter, delayed shedding causes high numbers of oocysts to remain, ready to infect the next incoming flock, the carryover effect. This high oocyst burden leads to the development of resistant Imeria strains. Due to carryover, these strains become dominant in the poultry house over time. Flock uniformity is negatively affected because the chemical anticoccidials lose almost all their efficacy and the ionophores show significantly reduced performance. As a result, weight gain suffers considerably. A new drug may improve control temporarily, but as medications age, they begin each rotation with their efficacy already compromised by the development of resistance. Coccidiosis challenge continues to build up in the house and flock performance becomes erratic. To avoid this scenario, vaccination with Coxivac vaccines offers a promising alternative strategy involving the introduction of sensitive Imeria strains, controlled immunity, and an earlier time of infection. While the first vaccinated flock will still be exposed to carryover, the oocyst burden, especially in resistant strains, decreases with each successive flock. Bird growth becomes more homogeneous, and once the birds are shedding fewer oocysts, the ammonia in the litter helps to reduce the overall coccid challenge in the house further. Vaccination shifts the coxy exposure window to the left and reduces the exposure level. Uniformity of the flock and of performance improves. The Imeria strains still populating the broiler house come from birds vaccinated with coxivac and are now sensitive to anticoccidials. But rotation is not the greatest advantage of vaccination programs it only provides a temporary improvement in the response to the anticoccidial drugs. The greatest advantage lies in the establishment of a new lower coccidiosis exposure pattern that is sustainable year-round. Easy spray cabinet administration of Coxivac vaccines at one day of age provides lifelong protection. Coccidiosis control with anticoccidials is becoming more and more insufficient and the amount of carryover is increasing. Management of coccidiosis through vaccination is the best way to reduce the overall coxy challenge in the poultry house. The live coxivac vaccines offer early onset of immunity, reduced coccidiosis challenge, and improved performance sustainable year after year. Coxivac vaccines by Merck Animal Health Billions of doses sold have demonstrated proven sustainable coccidiosis control for poultry through any season, on any size bird, and in any production system.